All right, today we're today we're going to talk about density, and density is just a, a measure of how much material or matter or mass is packed into a given volume. So if we <clears throat> kind of look at what our formula tells us, that density is the mass per volume. If we imagine that we have two buckets that are the same volume, say they're both five gallon buckets, if we fill one with bricks and one with feathers, the bucket with bricks is going to have a much greater mass than the bucket with feathers because bricks are more dense than feathers. They have more mass per volume. If we, instead of feathers, if we put water in one bucket and had bricks in the other, we'd have five gallons of bricks and five gallons of water, but the bricks, the five gallons of bricks would weigh more. They'd have more mass because they are more dense. So the more dense something is, the more mass we have packed into a given volume. Since density is the amount of mass in a given volume, the units of density are usually grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter. So remember, a cubic centimeter is the same size as a milliliter. And these are the units that you'll t commonly see because things tend to have densities around, around one in these units. So water's density is one gram per milliliter. So things tend to be a little lower, a little higher than that, depending on their density. So you'll see different kinds of problems. You'll see problems like this. What is the density of a liquid with a mass of 31.1415 grams and a volume of a 30.13 cubic centimeters? So in a problem like this, if it's asking for density, then we're just gonna plug it into this formula. So our density, is going to equal our, our, uh, our mass, which we said is 31.1415 grams, and that's going to be divided by the density of 30.13 cubic centimeters. You're going to plug these numbers into your calculator, and you're going to get a number like 1.033571 grams per cubic centimeter. But our job's not quite done there because we need to address the significant figure issue. This is a multiplication and division problem, so we're going to limit our answer to whichever one of these has the least number of significant figures. Here we have a captive zero, so these are all significant, so we have four significant figures. Here we have uh, all non-zero, so we have six significant figures. So we have to round our answer to four significant figures. We're going to count over one, two, three, four, five to our fifth significant figure and that's where we're going to make our, our uh, decision about rounding. So here it's a five and so if it's a five then we have to look at the preceding number and determine if it's even or odd. In this case it's odd so we're going to add one to that number so our final answer is 1.034 grams per cubic centimeter. So that would be the final answer rounded to the correct number of significant figures. Whenever you're working density problems, it can be arranged in three ways. The other type of question you can see is a question about the volume. And so we can rearrange the density equation so that we say volume equals mass divided by the density. So if we have a problem like this, what is the volume of a liquid with a mass of 31.14 grams and a density of 1.03 grams per cubic centimeter? then we would use this equation because our unknown is the volume. So to solve this problem, we would just say the volume equals the mass, which we said is 31.14 grams, and we're going to divide it by the density of 1.03 grams per cubic centimeter. Right, and so our units of grams are going to cancel and we're going to be left with units of cubic centimeter, which is what we'd expect. And we plug this into our calculator, we get a, a number like 30.23301 cubic centimeters. All right. And so if you're having trouble figuring out which unit goes where, 
mass is always going to be units of something like grams, kilograms, uh, a unit of, of mass. Density is going to be a compound uh, unit like grams per cubic centimeter or grams per milliliter, and your volume is either going to be in uh, milliliters or cubic centimeters. So now we have to address the uh, significant figures. Here we have a captive zero, so all of these are significant, so we have three significant figures. Here we have four significant figures, they're all non-zeros. So we have to round our answer to three, so we're gonna count out one, two, three, four, and make our decision on rounding based on this fourth number. That number is less than a five, so we make no change to the preceding number. So our final answer is 30.2 cubic centimeters. All right, the third way you can see a density problem is you can be asked for the mass of something. All right, so in this problem, what is the mass of a liquid with a volume of 30.2 milliliters and a density of 0 0.96 grams per milliliter? And to solve this, we use the equation where mass equals density times volume. So it's best, I think, to uh, use whatever equation isolates your unknown to the left by itself. So all we're going to do then is say that our, our mass equals our density 0 0.96 grams per milliliter. And we're gonna multiply that by our volume of 30.2 milliliters. And so our units in milliliters are gonna cancel out and it's gonna leave us with grams, which is good because that's a volume, uh, measurement unit that we'd use with mass. And you get 28.992 grams. So. To, to finish this off, we need to address our significant figures. So here we have uh, two significant figures. Here we have a captive zero. All three of these are significant, so three significant figures. So we have to round our answer to two significant figures. So we're gonna count out one, two, three, look at our third digit and make our rounding decision based on that third digit. In this case, it's greater than a five. So we add a one to the preceding number. So this becomes 29 grams. So the final answer is 29 grams.